Hi, I'm Noam. I'm Daniel. We are partners in practice and in life and the founders of the New York-based Studio Bond. And welcome to our home here in Chelsea. We designed this place in mind with living and working and very much like an atelier. Instead of telling you about it, why don't we show you around? Let's go. You enter the apartment through a private elevator and you immediately come in into this living room which has really these high ceilings, a wow moment for everybody that walks in. Lots of light coming through these huge windows and through our windows we see beautiful townhouses that have been here for 150 years. The fireplace is the focal point of the living room. It's made of arabescato marble that's very luxurious and gives the entire space a kind of majestic feeling. Even when we design spaces that are quite minimal, it's really important to have a punch and for us, this is the fireplace. The square shape of this space is pretty challenging. When we designed it, we really thought about it as a bit of a loft, creating different corners within the space rather than trying to take it over with one big gesture. This sitting area is really my favorite place in the house. I love that you can move the furniture around, the tables on wheels, the sofa breaks up into different modules, and it's nice when we have kind of a bigger group of friends here. I also just love sitting next to a library and having basically these books that a lot of them are architecture books, books that we work with all the time. The carpet served as a bit of an anchor to a lot of the other pieces that we then added. We love the color, this kind of like a rust steel. You can see a lot of different tones of wood, brown, from the floor to the furniture, whereas we kept the space relatively light and in these kind of white volumes. For the dining area, we chose a beautiful glass table designed by Le Corbusier in the 1920s. It has this beautiful glass top which reflects the outdoors, but it's also wonderful for sketching. For the dining chairs, we chose a mixture of Scandinavian chairs that are very beautiful and have this beautiful patina. And to complement the simplicity of the Scandinavian chairs, we chose the bunny chair. It's very beautiful, very whimsical, but uncomfortable. But everybody still wants to sit on it, well, at least for five minutes. Art has always been something that's very important to us. Most of the pieces that we have hanging here at home are pieces that are smaller, and that's because we had to bring them in a suitcase. I love listening to Daniel playing. It's so relaxing. For me, what's relaxing is cooking. I spend a lot of time in this kitchen. I really feel the kitchen is the heart of the home, and so we wanted this to be as open as possible. Should we show them the bedroom? Sure, let's go. Welcome to our bedroom. In contrast to the living room, the ceilings here are much lower. It's a little bit darker and creates a more of an intimate feel. And it faces the trees in the back. And when you look out, it really makes you feel as if you're in a tree house. There are a lot of interesting details here. For example, the headboard is made out of 1950s fabric and paired together with these really fun lamps that we got from a hardware store. It's $4 each and that just shows you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get great impact. We like to introduce sexy little surprises in every bedroom that we make and the window to the shower does just that. The niche is a little space that we carved in the wall and we put a little shelf in there to put a couple of objects, very personal little moment. And every bedroom should have those personal moments. At Bond, we focus on the design of fun and sophisticated environments, and our home is the lab where we get to test all of these fun ideas. Thank you for coming on this tour, and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?